Good morning, everyone. Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. I'm here today to continue working on the book page challenge hosted by Angela from Junk Journal Junction and Anna G from Making Joyful Journals. I will post their information below. Um, if you're if this is your first time here at Corner Piece Studio, welcome. I'm thrilled that you joined me. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm glad to see that you are returning to see my different um, videos that I put up. Thank you so much for being here. Um, today, this is a weekly challenge. They post, they post their, their target dates are Fridays. The target date for this one was the 14th, which was last Friday. Um, I tried, I do it the, during the week after, after they've posted theirs. Week one was the junk journal cover, and that's one signature, six page minimum using only book pages. That's done. And today it's let's add the stuff to the pages. Going to do pockets, tucks, belly bands, flips, etc., only using book pages. So I'm going to show some of the things that I've created to, for my pages and um, put them in. So I hope you're all doing well today. Um, oh, here's my here's my book. Just going to flip through it real quickly. I used a pattern book that was gifted to me from a dear friend. I used some pages from Edith Holden. This is from the book Wild Flowers. This is from the book Rebecca. And this is from a Beatrice Potter book, Peter Rabbit, and some music paper. I have to stiffen that up a little flimsy. And uh, I put in 11 pages, and this is from a bird book. Yeah, he doesn't quite match the reds, but this guy matches my reds. So I did that. And I have another thing going on in the kitchen. I am painting on book page, and I'm going to use that for embellishments next time. So that's pretty cool. I love to paint on book pages. So there's my book. There's my journal. So we're going to start by adding some things. I'm not sure what I want to do first. Okay, this is a belly band. I chose this to go onto a music page like that. Just right down the middle like that. So that's what we're going to do with this one. I got my piece of wax paper to go behind so I don't make a mess on my other pages. Let's open this so it stays. Okay. So I want it there. Yeah, because the other belly band will go. Okay. I have two different belly bands here. I have that one. And I have this one. This one is going to go across a page. Obviously, I didn't make it for one of those. It's for one of the more narrow pages. That's for the back of a book, book page. That's where that's going to go. All right. So this will go on my music page back a little further. I don't want... Uh, belly bands right next to each other. I don't want them right next to each other. Okay, so I'm going to put it over here. Right. Here we go. That's what my plan was, right here. Okay. I'm going to use Tombow Mono Liquid Glue Aqua. It has two different tips on it. It has a uh, narrow uh, pen tip and then it has a broad tip. I'm going to use the narrow tip just to put a little on the edges. Being that it's a belly band, you only want to put very little on each end because you want to save space in the middle. Hold that down here and put it up there. Okay, we 
where's my little rag? I don't see it. I have to get another one. I moved into my new studio and uh, still not finding everything where, whoops, where I want it. So, okay, there we go. These are, I love using these. These are baby washcloths. I got a bunch of them, probably 20 of them at uh, Dollar General. And um, they make a great glue wipe. Okay, so there's that. That's going to stay. Okay, now, and your stuff is going to go through like so. That's good. All right, let me find out where that other belly band is and get that one on. That one is on a book page somewhere. Where did I put it? There it is. That's an easier way of finding it. Pick it up and dump the book. Dump the book. And that's what I did because then this wet belly band is going to work this way. I'm going to use some vintage photo ink. I want to ink the edges just for it to just for it to uh, stand out a little bit more. You don't have to ink your edges. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I like to on certain things and other things I don't. I just want this to stand out a little bit. See, now that stands out a little bit on the book. Okay, so there's my belly band. And again, you're going to just glue, let me show you some here. You're going to just glue the ends and place the ends down. And I did not go, yeah, I did go all the way. All right, I might just snip a little bit of that off so when I turn the page, it's not going to be in the way of page turning. So let's just ink that a little bit. Here's the glue. Just don't want it in the way of page turning. Yeah, I used four or five different books, and I'm using those, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using those same books to create the embellishments and things for it. There we go, and that's on. Yeah, so when it closes, it turns. Just taking that wee little bit off gets it out of gets it out of the center so it doesn't get in the way of turning all right i have a couple other things here that i want to put on i made corners corner tucks using book page i glued about three pieces of paper together for them and that is going to go i have one that i want to go here this one's going to go here and be a corner tuck right as you first get into the book. Now you're going to need, I'm going to use a different glue because this one's a little slippery and slidey. I want to use one that's going to have a little more sticking to it. This one's just a liquid adhesive I found at uh, Dollar Tree. It works pretty well. I don't mind it. Like I said, I'm still not finding all the stuff that I would normally use. Okay, let's get back on the camera to... Let's pause this. Okay, here we are. I'm back, and I got some glue that's ready to work now. Okay, let's see. I'm using tacky glue. Because you want something that's going to stay... I do need to put it into a smaller bottle. I have a smaller squeeze bottle that'll give me a thinner line. But right now, I don't have it here. Okay, so I put glue on the edge. And I'm going to just... 
put this down. See, the tacky glue sticks better. That other glue was a little slidey and things slid around. Tacky glue, you put it down and it'll stay. Okay, there's one. And I'll round my corners again once it's dry. It's hard to round it's hard to round corners when things are wet because um, it just doesn't work well. And I want to put another one. Let's see. So bring the book page together here. A little much. A little much. I don't like that. How about if I put one on the back? This way I have some storage space in the front and back of my book. In the front and back of my journal. I like that. Okay. And let's see, there we go. Well, I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm doing better today. I have I have reflux issues and I had a really rough day yesterday. Ended up going to the doctor, getting new meds. So sometimes I guess your body just times out on meds and says, I'm not going, I'm not going to, those meds aren't going to work anymore. So that's what happened. So I ended up needing to go get some different medicine, and I'm feeling better this morning. I slept last night. The night before, I did not sleep much at all. I woke up very exhausted, and so yesterday was a little bit of a rough day. Doing much better today. Okay, there's those. Those are on. I made a cute thing before. Let's see if I can find it. I can't find it. Okay, so I'm going to do my next piece. I made a flip. I've used that, and I made a flip. So, okay, it's going to go onto a bigger page like so. Oops, there we go. I want to put it here. I don't know. I do know that I wanted to make a couple pockets because when I so when I glued these two pages together, I should have made it into a pocket and I didn't. So I want to make it into a pocket like right here. This is where I want it. So I'm just going to glue my edges. that big blob off of there. Just glue the edges. Now if you have a skinnier nozzle bottle, which I do, I need to find them. I did buy them. I just haven't uh, put the glue in them yet. Come on, there we go. Um, works a lot better. It works, it works a whole lot better. So um, you have a thinner bead of glue that goes on. Okay, let's get that in. There's my pocket. One thing I want to do before it dries too quickly or too soon is to pull it up. I want to um, pop, just pop a little thumb hole on it. I forgot to do that before. There we go. All right. Now that's better. There we go. There's my little pocket. Okay. I'm going to put a couple more pieces in here. I did make a cute little book page corner. Here it is. I made that. I used paper. I used um, paper from the uh sewing book that I'm using and this goes on the corner of a page and you can use it as a little storage that goes on there and then you can use it as a storage you can put something up under it so I'm going to 
put some glue. I'm going to glue the back side down. I'm going to glue the back side down. Put a little bit of glue in here and use my finger to move it around because I can't get the glue bottle up there. And bring it to the edges. All right, I'm going to slide my book page into it all the way in and press it down. So it's a little decoration on this side and the other side, it has a job. I'm gonna go on. Pull it up a little, get all the way on. Get it all the way on. There we go. Now it's on. There. Now I have a little tuck where I can tuck things when I if I want to hold them. Then I'm going to decorate that later. We're not into decorating today, but on another point, I will decorate. All right, let's see. So that has that. I got that on there. Um, do I want to put this here? This I'll make a flip. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to make a flip here on the music page. Let me go flip out. Okay. Okay, I'll get my glue stick. I'm going to use a glue stick on this. Use the glue stick on it. Just run it right along its edge. Then I don't have to wait for the liquid glue to dry. Put that on there. To the edge. I need to pull it up. It's not on the edge. And that's one th the good thing about glue stick. You can peel something up and reposition it. How about if I turn my book this way? There we go. And that transferred some glue to it, so it's going to hold better now when I stick it down for the second time. There we go. There we go. Get my scraper and get it down. Okay. So I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Let me show you what we did. I added a tuck spot in the front. I added another fun little tuck spot here. I added, I made a pocket here. I, I did a, a flip. That works. That's good. It shows you. There we go. It flip out here. I flip out there. What else did we do? Oh, I did a belly band here. My book is chunking up a little bit to the belly band. I'm not sure what I'll do on those pages yet. This I want to do it. I'm not sure what I want to do there. Doing another pocket here. I also did a belly band here. And I did a tuck spot here. All right, so that's going to be it for now. I do have other things that I want to add to this. And I will. And before I start decorating, adding ephemera, journal cards and things, I'll do a little quick flip through when I'm done. So here we are. We are on week two of the book page challenge. And thank you for being here. Please come back to see how what I do to add ephemera to my book when it's time so i hope you all have a great day if you liked what you saw today please 
touch my hit the like and subscribe button on my watermark down on the right hand corner and i will see you soon take care for now have a great day bye